Hi there, I'm Jeremy and welcome to the Not So Berry Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have 10 generations of Sims, each themed after a different color. This challenge was created by Lil Simsy and Always Simming, and the official rules can be found on Lil Simsy's Tumblr. I have been playing this challenge offline, and I've made a few TikToks about it, but I really want to start over from the beginning so I could do a full Let's Play. And so that's what this is. That's what we're doing here today. We are starting from the beginning. Generation 1 is the Mint Generation, so we're going to be creating our founder today and getting them set up in the world. I am playing this challenge in my own custom custom downloadable save file that I created. I've completely replaced all of the builds and all of the townies in Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, and Glimmerbrook, and I've also created a lot of new townies as well, such as new vampires, new werewolves, and some new builds throughout other scattered worlds in the game. So let's go ahead and start out by creating our founding sim. But first, let me go ahead and read you the description and the requirements for the mint generation. You are a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. You're career driven, but you still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest friends. You love luxury and what the best for yourself and your family. Your traits are vegetarian, jealous, and materialistic. Your aspiration is chief of mischief, and your career is scientist. The rules are that you must master the scientist career and complete the chief of mm. mischief aspiration. You have to master the mischief and logic skills, and you have to complete the elements collection. I put some thought into this, and I want the family's last name to be Wildberry. Why? Because I'm Jeremy Gone Wild and this is the Not So Berry Challenge. And for her first name, we're gonna go ahead and name her Listerina. So here's our girl, Listerina Wildberry, the Mint Gen founder. Now for this challenge, I can use free real estate to place my founder down in a starting house, especially since she's gonna need a family house where she can have a laboratory. And I'm gonna put her in Oasis Springs, and currently all of the family houses are occupied, so I think I might have to kick someone out of their house. So we're gonna go ahead and use free real estate, and we're gonna kick this family out. I do love the Franklin family, but I want their house. So, goodbye Franklins, but it's definitely going to need a minty makeover, so let's do that real quick. So I got to change the color of the brick, the siding, the roofing, the fence. Luckily, I was able to just change the swatch for pretty much the entire exterior, and I was able to re-swatch most of the interior as well. There were a few objects on the first floor that I had to replace rather than just change the swatch because there wasn't a good swatch for them, but overall the first floor was pretty good being recolored. And there are three bedrooms on the second floor, but I'm only recoloring the master bedroom for now. The other two Two are going to be for future children, or maybe one might be a laboratory. I haven't quite decided yet. Okay, I think I've mintified this house enough. We're back in live mode, and she has a little bit more money than I'd like her to have. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat her money down. So we're gonna go money ten thousand. Well, why don't you go ahead and start out your life by getting a job? Oh, and look, it's the big game today. Perfect day to to meet some some new friends and you're going to be a scientist. And she starts work tomorrow, today's a day off, perfect. She's entered the scientist career and now she's gonna come explore her new house. What do you think of it, Listerina? Go ahead and play some chess, we'll start with that. You need to have some breakthroughs for work. You need to perform 10 mean or mischievous interactions. You need to be disliked by two Sims. Ah. We've got all sorts of things we need to do. We also need to find a potential spouse for you. Obviously, you're not getting married right off the bat. We want to have a little bit of life before you get married, but we also don't want to have children too late. Her grandchild, the yellow gen, is supposed to have a close relationship with her. So if, oh, we, ah. if we wait too long to have children, she'll die of old age before that happens. I wonder if we're going to get a welcome wagon. Sometimes with this save file, it's hit or miss. Sometimes I get welcome wagons, sometimes I don't. You know what? I don't want to wait for it. We're going to go ahead and travel to another uh. lot. We're going to go to the park and we'll meet some Sims there. Now this park is technically a teen hangout, but it should be fine. We should still meet some adults here. She's already on her way to talk to someone. Who is she going to talk to? Kale. Pandals are pow. He looks like an RNG Sim. Uh, yeah, go ahead and introduce yourself to Kale. And let's see, is there anyone else on the lot yet? Mm, we've got a teen, we've got a child, we've got a spellcaster, we've got another child. I'm more interested in meeting young adults. Kale is a young adult, but I don't know if I'm digging his vibe. I'll tell you what, girl, why don't you come back here and shoot some hoops? 
scoot around for a little bit. Why are you in a bad mood? From seeing an unattractive sim? Wait a minute. <laughs> she perceives Kale as very unattractive, and it actually gave her a negative mood lit. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Well, hopefully you don't have to interact with him very much. Yeah, I don't see any other sims I want to meet. Oh, hang on, here's someone. He's a teen, but Ty15. Hello, Ty. Let's go say hi to you. Ty is a sim that is modeled after one of my friends and longtime viewers. Let's see how she gets along with oh. him. Talk about the temperature. Uh -huh. You need to work on your mischief skill, so why don't you uh, do a prank? Do a what's that spot with him. He's feeling flirty. Ty, we're a little old for you. Gown him, sure, sure. Ha, he likes that. I'll know. Let's trick him with the hand buzzer real quick. Oh, I love that interaction. Yeah, she's over it. Ty's over it too. Bye, Ty. Oh, he's a spellcaster. Let's try somewhere else. So right here, we've got a karaoke bar called Palm Sings. Is there anyone hanging out here? We've got the bartender, Betty Harding. And we've got... We've got an evil witch here, Glenda Green. Not exactly the company we're looking for. Well, actually, maybe. She's yelling at us. Oh, oh we just learned that she's evil. Oh, someone's singing karaoke? Yes, Rachel. Rips Rachel Redding is singing karaoke. Oh, we've got some people here. We've got Phyllis Swan. We've got Lucia Markovic and Akira Kibo. And who just walked in here? Who are you? George Goody. And why don't we get to know you real quick? So friendly, small talk, get to know. We found out he's good. Oh, we've got Ando Nakamura. Let's uh, introduce ourselves to him as well. Ando, why don't we get to know you a little bit as well? And we got a drink. What kind of drink did you order? We finally got it. It's a wrench. All right, we're out of here. Let's go home. Time to go throw a uh, football party at home and maybe eat something as well. Let's send you to the bathroom. And then why don't you actually make some popcorn and then invite some people over. So invite to hang out at current lot. Let's invite over Ando, George, Miko, Glenda. We can invite Ty, Phyllis, and that's good for now. Everyone is coming over. Hey, Phyllis is here. Hello, Phyllis. We got the invite guest <laughs> activity accomplished. <laughs> Fantastic. Ah, sure, sir. Um, and we've got a few people hanging out outside. Let's, uh, okay, let's make a group real quick with everyone. So let's see. Everyone's in a group now. There's sports. Oh, yes. Who came and sat next to us? Ando came and sat next to us. I think he's a married man, though. Let's see. Um, let's ask him. Romance. Rotation. Ask him if he's single. Uh, he is married. He's married to Iris. Okay. okay, everybody. Let's all go grab some popcorn together. Free bono. Why don't we get to know our friends a little bit better? So let's do a... Um, let's do a get to know with everyone. Oh. Glenda's a genius, okay. Oh. Ando is self-assured. Oh, Nico yeah, yeah. is a geek. Ah. George is an art lover. Ah, Phyllis is materialistic, Trina. just like us. Now let's get to know Ty. <laughs> so. ah, is no, oh, never mind, everybody's leaving. Well, goodbye, everyone. All right, go ahead and clean up. So She's still hungry, though, and all we got is that popcorn. So why don't you go ahead and serve yourself some garden salad? Go ahead and eat that. Let's put the rest in the fridge so that you have it for later. And before you go to bed, go ahead and play a little chess. I'm gonna work on that logic skill a little bit. I know you're tired, but just get that skill, girl. All right, there you go, you can stop. Big game successful. Listerina had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to do. And let's let her sleep through the night. Time to get up, it's 8 a.m. Hey, Listerina, I think I have a crush on Maverick Ace. Do you think it's worth a try? You know what, Miko? Go for it. And while Listerina is having her breakfast, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. But I really want her to meet some more cool and interesting sims. She is going to meet some cool sims at work, but I think it would be really great if you all would upload some sims to the gallery for her to meet. Maybe a potential boyfriend, maybe a bestie. Use the hashtag NotSoJeremy to upload your sims to the gallery for Listerina to meet. 
and make sure you spell it right. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.